think, dude? I think you, you done with the damn hood scoop yet? It's only been like three weeks. This is my last week in Kansas. The then I'll be gone for a week. Your ass. It sucks ass, and it still ain't perfect, but it got hot. It's hotter than balls. I'm not mad right now. No, not right now. It's about to storm. It's nice about the camera. You can barely tell. You can still see the rivets kind of popping out. That's fine. There's a run right there. Yeah, that's just a primer. Hood ain't staying primer, but leave the rivets showing. Turned out pretty good, though. I mean, for what we have to work with, neither of us are really body men. Well, you're definitely not. I'm kind of. Did they rub off on you? Any? Uh, this is mostly SWR and C. Pete. DIY Auto School. Everything he's taught me. Watching his videos. I only just watch SWR and C because he's funny and cool. You show my wire harness? Yeah, let's go look at your car. Oh, Dad. Oh, well, I've been working on that. Dad's been finishing up little things on his car. Little things. Little things. Oh, I've been doing important things like this hood latch assembly, which is extremely hard to get because it's one year only. 69's a little bit different. You know how hard this stuff is to get? Look at that. Works like a dream. Let's flip that over and... Perfect. Yeah. And Dad's been doing wiring. Yeah. I have. Look at that mess. I wouldn't call it a mess. At least it's all wrapped up and you don't have like 8,000 wires just hanging willy nilly. Dad's got them run nicely up through the intake. There's no way of putting that voltage regulator on the firewall, so I don't want to hear no bullshit from anybody. Well, and that's the heavy duty version instead of the cheese ass one and we do not run electron condition why do we not run it dad i don't we had way too much bad luck with it yep my satellite it had a factory electronic ignition and i've never had luck with it i use those electronic distributors for yard darts just yep. throw them mm -hmm. but we run aftermarket dual points every car we got's got dual points fire up never had to really fuck with the points ever we done both things to run it for years that way yep what would Grandpa Norm say? Them <laughs> engineers spent millions of dollars designing those points ignition, and somebody decided to make it change it. Now that's kind of the saying. You even messed up on it. Yeah. Oh well. Like Good. a camshaft. They spent millions of dollars finding the best camshaft, and you go out and buy some big old nasty thing. Well, it's most optimized for street driving. That's what my dad would say. Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. Oh, I need to show everybody your RT badge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I should show them this, too. Bobby, he does our decals. Made those for Dad's center caps. We asked Dad what he wanted. Came up with that design, the Frat Zog Dodge emblem with a black, black, with a black background and a red Frat Zog. But there's Dad's RT emblem, 1968. <sighs> One year only RT badge. I didn't repaint the center of it. I left that all original. In fact, the camera makes it look really nice. It don't look bad at all. No, I wanted to leave it because the paint's actually got like a texture to it and I like it, so I didn't want to mess with it. I did the black on the outside of it because that was all gone, but that looks cool. Many a Chevy and Ford and even other Chrysler Mopars will see that tail panel. <laughs> yeah. Not really. You'll be driving like a little Miss Daisy. Woo, 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 woo. Maybe. Maybe. We got a nice storm rolling in. I don't know. The storm sounds like it's way over there, actually. That's a storm. The wind's blowing that way. Yeah, it is that way. There's probably something behind it. Oh, nice. Probably something pushing it. Well, I guess we're going to end the video, Dad. Bye. End it. End bye it. Bye-bye. Well, at least you said something this time. Hi, Dad. Hello. You want to show people what you just accomplished? I got a blood blister. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Ex extreme close-up. <laughs> My wrench slipped. I'm still trying, still trying to get that zoom in here. 
This is worth the time. Can we draw a smiley face on it? Fuck it. We can draw a little smiley face on it, a little mustache. No. No. This drunk mat looks nice. It's got the trunk mat in. Got my battery box put in. You want to tell people why you put it on the wrong side of the trunk? Because you know you're going to get hell for that. Why'd you put it on the wrong side of the trunk? I didn't put it on the wrong side. I put it on my side. Do you just want to tell everybody why you put it on the driver's side instead of the passenger side? Well, in my mind, this side squats, this side squats down, this corner squats down when you launch. That looks to me like that side needs all the help it can get to stay down. Kind of makes sense, but you still put it on the passenger side. I don't understand that. Plus, I got the filler tube for the gas tank. This, this is the reason I prefer, because it actually, you know, half-ass makes sense instead of your stupid. That kind of kill some of the trunk space over there anyway so put it over there yeah and now you got a big open trunk space instead of having a battery over there which ruins all that space and then you got the filler tube over here which ruins this space more or less and dad ain't no bitch and he don't need a spare wheel oh well, i'll probably have a spare in there will you you gonna find have, another 15 by 10 answer mag i might need some 15 by 10s with drag slicks on them i mean real slicks m and yeah. h, m &H maybe. You mean like race masters? The M and H race masters I was eyeballing for Jezebel. Yeah. Now we're getting off topic. We're supposed to be just talking about this, so. That's one aught welder cable. For your going, positive. Going to the starter relay. Negative four gauge, just regular old battery cable. Grounded to the old trunk uh, jack mount. Probably ought to put something on that. It's a, Negative ground. I know. I know. Ground. There's going to be someone out there who says, I had a car that was like that. It burned down because we didn't shield the negative cable. Because the jack handle got against the negative. And it grounded out. <laughs> <laughs> or in that case, it posited out. It, it posited out. But dad ran his battery cable through the interior of the car instead of running on the ground. In armor. In armor. A really nice fucking armor at that. It's run up through this factory wire loom area, and that goes all the way up out. Right there. And we actually did a test deal. We short, shorted out the starter relay, and the engine cranks over good and sounds good. Suck Almost sucked the duct tape through. But that's good. That means the engine's still good. Of course, Dad's got his heater hoses done. He wanted black ones. We... All my shit, he puts his blue ones on, those fancy silicone ones, but no, his car gets nice black ones that don't stick out like a bastard. I got a manual temperature gauge running in this conduit here, and I got all my wires running in this conduit over the coil and the voltage regulator. Uh, this main battery cable is coming in, coming right to the starter relay on the same post as the, picking up the same post going down to the starter. Yeah. This fusible link still intact to the stock wiring harness. In case anything goes awry in the harness, it'll fuse this wire here. So would you say it's a nice blend of your wire and factory wire? Uh, yeah, it's kind of a blend of Scottization, what I like to call it, Scottization. There ain't no fancy fucking year one bullshit here or anything. You see that dipstick tube? Yeah, Dad bought this dipstick tube, and I thought he'd forgotten about it finally. I'm gonna go show people your hood. So this video will all be a part of your hood video series, I think. Just that way, it's one nice long video. Maybe not. Maybe I'm lying. But uh, the hood has got its final wet sand, and it is ready for the paint gun. It's been waiting on paint. Waiting on paint. Turn me around tonight on the way home from work. Yeah, I sent Dad off trying to find some paint, but uh, wild, couldn't find any. Fifteen mile wild goose chase. Couldn't find it, so our buddy Dan's gonna bring us some tomorrow, and this thing will be black tomorrow. You'll see that happen if I feel like it. You got that smooth then. I told you I smoothed that out. I actually made a little tool on my Dremel because I didn't have the right sanding barrel. So I took one of the grinding stones, ground it down, and slipped a small. Uh, sanding barrel on it and smoothed it out and then i went in with some 400 and shit and smoothed it out even more that's gonna look fine i think it'll be fine and i played with my hemi last night just had to show that
there are imperfections in this hood it's by no means perfect but it's been wet sanded with 400 it's ready to go you know like these pop rivets they still poke through a little bit but i don't want a shitload of bondo on there it's good enough and it'll look fine from you know 10 20 feet away glued down pop riveted down bondo down it's got yeah i wouldn't count on the bondo for actually holding anything down but it's definitely not coming off Hopefully. And of course the underside is all painted black. I did that the other day. Dad and I flipped the hood over. Painted all that black. Of course I cleaned it then painted it. And I'll just include some photos of it here. Which shows it's bright red inside the scoop. Which we did on purpose. Because Dad's got his little chrome air cleaner. And when they are shining down off that red. They'll look red. And plus in the sunlight when you look inside the scoop. When it's clean you'll see that bright ass red which you won't be able to see right now eh, maybe a little bit and it's still dirty in there I gotta repaint the inside of that a little bit from where that epoxy pulled up the paint that epoxy is some nasty shit oh this is now a six something minute video so anything else you want to tell people about dad no, just getting closer getting closer got the engine to turn over that's one step closer yep of course i leave for south carolina on monday so we got my windshield clips in so we can get that windshield put in yeah we got to find someone to put the windshield in yeah we can get it dad's in the delusion that we can put the windshield in ourselves i don't know maybe we can anyways here's this video dad you want to tell everybody bye 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 guys what the fuck was that? Hey guys, Jed Scott here, and we are finally almost done with this hood. All we have left to do, clean it, paint it. I'm going to run over some of the things we're going to use to paint it today. So, I've been recommended by many friends to use this paint. This is John Deere brand Blitz Black. It dries harder than a rock. Dan actually painted a fender with it one day, and... Uh, he tried scratching it. He ended up dang the fender before he scratched the paint. Kind of unbelievable, but hey, we're going to give it a shot. And don't mind the hat. Uh, it's hot. I need to keep sweat off my brow. And I need to get a haircut before I fly to South Carolina, which is on Monday, May 21st. And today is Thursday, May whatever it is. So, I apologize. This whole video series, you're going to see us mounting the scoop, painting it, and all this stuff. Um... As far as the body work, body working video, I'll show you another time. If you guys want to see how to do body work, I can do that. But um, so um, I'm going to show you the process of wiping down the hood, getting it ready to go, and all that jazz. Um, first thing we're going to do is either wash our hands or put gloves on. We're going to put some bit, bitch mitts on, aka some plastic uh, latex gloves. Keep our hands clean. Keep everything clean. I'm going to use the pair I was using earlier, clean them, and then I'm going to wipe the hood down with some uh, mineral spirits, let that evaporate off real good, blow it off one good time, and then we're going to spray some paint on this baby. So we're going to get you turned around, looking at her, there you go.
guys, welcome back. Jed Scott here. Obviously, it's who I am. I got a haircut because I'm going to South Carolina, and I guess it's muggy there. And fat guys don't do muggy all that well. <clears throat> uh, I'm no longer stoned off paint fumes, and the hood is dry. And it dried very nicely. I was taking my finger, dipping it in what's left of the paint, getting inside of the scoop. You can still see a little bit. I think the rest of that's just dust. But when we epoxied it, the epoxy pulled up some of the black paint that was already in there. But, uh, yeah, she laid down pretty good. Like I said, you can see some imperfections in it. I did spend a lot of time on this, but I spent... But I knew it would never be perfect. Because I am in no way a body man, but, God, it looks good. And we got these black anodized... Hood pin set for dad's car because the holes are there and we didn't want to fill them so we got those we're gonna get mounted soon hopefully and uh, I came out here told dad about the good news on his hood and he said we'll go ahead and put them carburetors on there so I did what I did here was one of these was aluminum and one was chrome so I painted both black so that way you can't notice the difference. Because that one wasn't shiny and it wouldn't shine up. It has these lines in it, which if you get zoomed in, you can see them and that one's smooth. So did that. So now there's the engine. Waiting for fuel lines, which dad's gotta fix one of them so that way it can be a little bit shorter. And then after that, it's crank crank boom time. I can't wait. Coming soon, guys. You'll see it a lot sooner than I will, technically. I mean, I'll, I'll see it and I'll hear it before you, but you guys won't have to wait like I do. But uh, anyways, guys, here's your quick little update. Well, guys, I got a surprise for you. Not much has to be really said. Turn signals. Scoop. You know, I was skeptical at first with the six pack scoop on a charger. I've seen many, I didn't like them. This one I like. I'm happy with it. Got everything working underneath the car. Got both latch systems working. Got the hood where it lines up pretty good. Still got some mud dauber's nest up inside of there. See there? All that works, all this works. And that fired up last night. Oh man. 426 Hemi with a cross ram and a big nasty cam and headers and a 68 RT charger. How do you get much better than that? I just don't think you do. Anyways, guys, just want to show you this in the daylight. Hope you're enjoying the videos as much as I am making them. Alright, guys, see you in the next one. Bye.